You're watching Chewing the Cut with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon-Rowe. Hello, oh, oh. yum. Oh. Hello, Munchkins. It's lovely to see you all again, peering at us through your telly boxes and computer mabobs. How are you doing? And Mike, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm not concerned about that one. I need an adult. This week from the web, I'm bringing you a story that's a blatant excuse to see men with their tops off. Oh. And I've got the showbiz news, including an update on our favourite big cat monarch. While later, Mike will bring you another that science that is. No, really, he will. It's the highlight of our show. It says so right there on the auto cue. Just there. Yeah, the auto cue, what Mike did right. Just because I wrote it doesn't make it any less true. On the screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, at the Could TV on social media where you can follow us. The Could.tv is our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. Lee is always posting things on the interweb. And I see that you've updated your tablet from that brick you used to carry around. You know that's not connected to the internet, don't you? It is! The man in the shop said that it was wireless and the battery life is phenomenal. I've had it a week and not needed to charge it once. This from the man who insists that a tablet is made of stone. It is. Don't mock me. What's more, I've got another one of these at home and I can type on both of them simultaneously. What? So you get two identical copies of the same text? Cool. Don't assume things about me, Mike. You know I don't like Stereotyping. Incidentally, do you know what the longest word is that you can type using just the first row of letters on the typewriter? That's the row that starts with a Q, not the one with the numbers. Typewriter. Yes, typewriter. The thing in front of you. Typewriter. Type. Writer. Writer for using type. Typewriter! Typewriter, Mike. Typewriter. That's the longest word, along with proprietor and perpetuity. Now who's looking smug? There's more to my repertoire than you realise. Oh, that's another repertoire. Oh, look who swallowed a thesaurus. Well, however you choose to communicate, be it with a typewriter from the Dark Ages, or something from this side of decimalisation, we'd love to hear from you. And you may even get your name on the telly, like the host sliding on the screen right now. Speaking of things sliding along the screen, can your fancy laptop do this? Oh, I've got a, I've got a message, Mike. I've got a message. Oh, that's like a nice noise. Yeah. Breaking news. When a doctor doctors a doctor, does the doctor doing the doctoring Doctor, as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored, or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor? Mary Mac's mother's making Mary Mac marry me. My mother's making me marry Mary Mac. Will I always be merry when Mary's taking care of me? Will I always be merry when I marry Mary Mac? But what I really want to know is, do you like toast? As a, as a snack or a sexual partner? I didn't know there was that option. <laughs> Doesn't say. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. How is our producer this week? He wasn't at the production meeting. Sadly, he can't be with us again today, as he's learning circus skills. He wasn't very good at being a ringmaster, but he thinks he'll be good at lion taming, as that involves a whip, a fancy outfit, and putting his head into the mouth and trusting the beast not to bite. I personally think he's better off selling hot dogs, as he's renowned for his quick action with a nine-inch sausage in his buns. Buns? You come over a little American there. Wouldn't be the first time. No, 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 no more sex capades, thank you. Let's just play. Game of the Week. This week it's Mike's turn. So Mike, get up off your lazy arse and off your pop, remove yourself from my presence, sashay away. Presence indeed. Today we're playing What's Another Word for Synonym? 
All Mike has to do is give me clues to the word or phrase generated by our super deluxe octo-core water-cooled artificially intelligent randomised question generating mega computer and I have to guess them. What could be easier? Mike, are you ready? No, but I'll start anyway. Are you ready? I am. Lovely jubbly. Paint colour. That means nothing. Red. No, not red. Um, steel. Grey. No. I don't know what a synonym is. <laughs> I don't know people. what I'm trying to do. I say words and you have to try and work out what links them all together. Oh, that's hard. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> right. Um, and it's a flower. Paint. Uh-huh. Steel. Yeah. Steel magnolias. It's magnolias, yes. Steel magnolias. No, just magnolias. Oh, just magnolias. Yeah, the, the, the oh, word magnolia links all three together. I like the film though. Do you? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> it's brown and sticky. No. You love it or you hate it? <laughs> Who loves or hates it? It's a fetish. Have... There's a fetish for everyone. Poopy doops. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> happening. It's always called <laughs> right. <laughs> Have it on your toast. <laughs> I'm not going to go for the... <laughs> I am. <laughs> Marmite, you feel pop. Oh! Marmite. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a hybrid. Well, that's nice, but do you want to do the clue? That is the clue. Oh, it is the clue. Yeah. A car. <laughs> a car. <laughs> no, it's not a car. Okay. I have four legs and a tail. A hybrid? Four legs and a tail? No, another clue, please. It's round the front and comes out the bottom. <laughs> milk, milk, lemonade, round the corner, chocolate's made. No, no. I think you'll find out it's round the back that fudge is made. Oh! Um, but the answer was cockapoo. <laughs> Oh, I would have never got that. Let's have another one then. <laughs> I'll whop one out just for you. Nice. It's 26 long. The alphabet. Nope. Oh. Okay, no. Don't know. Get another one. It's a Snickers. It's 26 long and it's a Snickers. No, another clue, please. <laughs> another clue. Famous one in London. 26 long, it's a Snickers. A marathon. <gasps> yes! Is it the London Marathon? It's just a marathon. A marathon. <laughs> well done. Like a pawn. <laughs> like a pawn, yes. Yes. Seaside town. Blackpool. No. It's on the East Coast. Brighton. James Cook sailed from it. Well, that's a massive help. Um, oh, Dracula was written there. Ooh. Whitby. Next one. Okay. Poopy doops. <laughs> Excrement. No, not quite. Not quite. Do you wipe or shake? Do you wipe or shake? I don't know. You'll have to give me another one. <laughs> it's the medical version of this thing. Is it a... Is it a douche? Dysentery. <laughs> Some would say that's nature's douche. <laughs> uh, no. A male supportive instrument. Like a truss? No. No. Fashion or function? I don't know. You'll have to give me another clue. <laughs> Something in which you'd put a cup. A jock strap. A jock strap, yes, well done. Oh! <laughs> the cup thing threw me. The cup there, because that's what you put the. Oh, right, okay. You put it down not, a, not a cup. Not like a it? mug. No, not like right, a cup okay. of tea. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm greasy. 
I know you are Mike, but it's very warm in here. <laughs> I, 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 I feel I need another clue. Okay. I eat shoots and leave. So you eat shoots and leave, or you eat shoots and leaves? I eat shoots and leaves. Leaves? Yes. Okay, you don't leave after you've eaten a shoot. Um, I'm greasy. I eat shoots and leaves. Greasy. Shoots and leaves. Um, an anteater. <laughs> no, they eat ants. Yeah. Famously named for eating ants, the yeah. anteater. Yeah. G'day, how are you? Koala. A koala bear. If you'd have said riddled with chlamydia <laughs> yeah. and smells like <laughs> I would have got it straight away. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You'd have said you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great. Still to come, we've that science that is. And just after the break, it's Lee with the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Let's join Lee as he opens Pandora's box, which is the showbiz news. I said Pandora's not yours, I was quite impressed with myself. Did you know that Pandora's box was a song by Louise? Was it really? Nerding. Oh. Mm. Well, that's why I'm the showbiz correspondent, Mike. Yeah, yeah. No, at all. Is she still called Louise Nerding? No, just Didn't Louise. Get... Didn't she get married many, many years ago? She, she was Louise Nerding when she was in Eternal, uh -huh. and then she got married to Jamie Redknapp. So then uh -huh. she was Louise Redknapp, uh -huh. and then now they're divorced. Now she's just Louise. All right, just okay. Louise. Right, Prince. Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's do a bit of showbiz news. <laughs> oh, Tiger King. It's not going well for him, Mike. Are you not doing the voice? Tiger King. Tigers! Okay. Like it, things are not going well for him, it's for not. Joe Exotic. Oh dear. Because obviously he's in prison, mm -hmm. which could, you know, depends what, how you look at it, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but they were going to make a film version. Okay. You, you, had a, you had a mental image then in your head, I didn't you? I had several mental images. You did, you perv. Um, <laughs> I replaced my, my face onto <laughs> Joey's office going, I think I might need to commit some crimes. <laughs> I need a shower. Um, because <laughs> that's how you act in prison. Uh, um, right, so they were going to make a film version of his life okay. starring Nicolas Cage, mm -hmm. which is quite a good fit, I would it's, imagine. It's a, it's a look. Yeah, well, so we've got a picture here. We've got, you could kind of see the resemblance. He just needs a blonde mullet. And, <laughs> Both got facial hair and, and yeah. noses. Yeah, so they were, so they were going to make this film, but... Netflix has withdrawn it because they think he's, he's already irrelevant. So Netflix has pulled out? They have, yeah. Well. Dry. Left him, left him high and dry. So, yeah. Um, it, it was like saying at one point, it was like, he said, lightning in a bottle. They had lightning in a bottle. I don't really know what that means. That means that they thought it was... really good. Yeah. Um, but then people, don't, they, they decided he was no longer relevant. So, gone. Tiger King film, gone. Oh. That's a bit of a shame. It's a shame for that, but not only that, mm. poor old Joe Exotic, Yeah, he's now single. Because if you cash actually your mind single. back, actually single, because if you cash your mind back, at the end of Tiger King documentary, mm -hmm. he was married to Dylan Passage. Yes, who was the, the, the attractive one. He was the attractive one. We've, I think we've got a picture of, of Dylan here um, with his new fiance. Oh. Mm, so they're on the... One side we've got Joe Exotic and Dylan mm -hmm. when they were happily in love. Yeah. And then on the other side is Dylan with his new boyfriend. So no film. No film. Sad. No marriage. Sad times for Tiger Sad King. Times. But he's in prison. So So there's always a always a plus side. Always, yeah. Now I'm gonna have to take out because this bit, because I've got another bit. Often technology is a wonder, isn't it? Oh look what is oh. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna pop it there. Just, oh, it's all going horribly wrong. Oh. Now this is some positive news. Yay! So I'm a fan of, of Poe as a TV show. Uh, so am I. You're a fan of Poe. I have TV watched show. it all. Now it has been announced that MJ Rodriguez, who plays what the, like the mother of of the one of the houses in Which the show, house? house of Evangelista. Well done. Yes. Um, she has been nominated for an Emmy. 
She Ooh. is the, the first transgender performer to be nominated for an Emmy. We've got a picture of her here in, in her, uh, in kind of out of character. Mm -hmm. So, you know, looking all kind of Hollywoody. She's actually released a single. Ethereal, I believe. Ethereal. Ethereal. Uh, and this is a picture of the cast, or mm -hmm. some of the cast, not uh -huh. all of the cast together. Um, so she's been nominated for the lead drama actress character uh, category for her performance as Bianca Rodriguez. Um, so she said, what she's saying is, I'm going to have to pick it up. I'm going to have to pick it up to read it. There has never been a trans woman who has been nominated as a leading outstanding actress. And I feel that that pushes the needle forward so much now for the door to be knocked down for so many people, whether they're male or trans female, gender, non-conforming, LGBTQIA+, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So that's, that's like a, a massive thing for her. It's a massive thing for um, everybody, to be fair. Billy Porter's also been nominated Good. Um, for lead actor. Mm -hmm. um, and the show itself is, is up for a nomination for Outstanding Drama Series. Which, which I can understand. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have watched the third series. <gasps> How? Because it's, it's not out here in the UK. On Naughty Netflix. No... Naughty Netflix. Naughty Netflix. Naughty Netflix, Mike. Naughty Netflix. Just, yeah. just Google Naughty Netflix. Oh. Don't Google Naughty Netflix. How? Okay, we'll um, talk about it later. But but it, it's boohoo tears. Is it? Have a, tish, have a box of tissues with you for every single episode. See, I don't understand. I don't understand British television because the first two series were massively popular on BBC Two. Mm -hmm. It's on streaming services. Yep. But why not put the third one on? It is coming. They have said it's coming. Well, I hope it doesn't go the way of Tiger King and they think it's irrelevant and decide not to show no, it. No, they'll, they'll, they'll show it. Off. They will show it. Okay. Show it. So, yeah, so that good news for for them and good yes. news for them. It's sad that it's coming to an end, but I suppose it's one of those series that can't, just can't go on forever and ever and no. ever. Um, and it, it's very well done at the end. Is it? Yes. Don't and give it, it does, no spoilers, it, Mike. It, I'm not going to do spoilers because I'm not you. Um, but it is very good, very well done, and deserving of all the, all the praise it's getting. Oh, wonderful. So from the sublime mm -hmm. to the ridiculous. Oh, it's a story about you. It is. It is yeah. a story of my life. So do, do you know who Patti LaBelle is? No. No? Okay. And that's this week's show business. So it's Patti LaBelle. <laughs> Patti LaBelle is an American singer, very, very famous. You may know her from a YouTube clip where she's performing um, a Christmas um, show in America okay. and nothing goes right. And she's like, she doesn't know the words and she's going, where my backup singer's at? Where my backup singer's at? Um, we've, got, we've got a picture of here on the screen. What, what, what did she actually sing? She, she was singing some sort of Christmassy song. So name a song I would recognise. I don't know what it was. It was just a. It was. A, it wasn't like a, a one that I knew. Does she have any songs that she she's renowned for? Um, let me have a look at my notes, Mike. She originally sang um, the da 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 um, um, Lady Marmalade. Right. Okay. The original version. <laughs> How did you not get it from that? From, da, da, from just da 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 da. Yeah, Patty, she has revealed that when right back in in her early days as as a singer, mm -hmm. she was singing with a group called the Bluebells, and they shared the studio with the then Reginald Dwight. Oh. Okay. Who who became. Sir Elton of John. Sir Elton of John, yeah. yes. And what she used to do was, she used to um, cook food. Why, why are you laughing? I was going to say steal his poppers. <laughs> she, <laughs> she stole his poppers. Yeah. Um, when, <laughs> when they were, like, done in the studio, mm -hmm. she would invite everybody back to her house to eat. Okay. And then what she would do is she would, like, the leftovers... Um, some people have leftovers. Who knew? Yeah, um, a lot of people. <laughs> put them in Tupperware... Give them to the band in Elton John, and mm -hmm. she would say, "But I want my Tupperware back." Oh yeah, yeah. And he would ne he never brought the Tupperware back, ever. Ooh. So uh, so it's like they kept, so we've got a picture of here of them together. Mm -hmm. um, I think they share the same wiggerer. Wiggery. 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 Wiggerator. <laughs> Wiggerator. Um, I got sidetracked then. Yeah, so it. <laughs> yeah. So she would. So years went by. Uh -huh. They kind of like, drifted apart. And then he, he got a he got a recently got a telephone call from her to say, Hi Paddy. Mm -hmm. Hi Paddy. He doesn't speak in an American accent, but he said, Hi Paddy, it's Reggie. I want you to come and see me tonight. So it, not in a bring well, back the poppers you to see me yeah. tonight. Uh, <laughs> and if you could bring that this poppers you stole, I'd be grateful. Um <laughs> she, so he, he phoned her to say, Come and see me. Mm -hmm. I'm in town. Okay. And so they went for a chat and she jokingly said, 
where's my Tupperware? Like after years, because that would be funny. <laughs> where's my Tupperware? And he said, it's on the table. And she looked and there was a diamond ring. And she went, but that's, that's a ring. And he went, no, that's your Tupperware. I'd have taken the ring and gone, where's my Tupperware? <laughs> <laughs> So, the table. so thanks. Now where's my Tupperware? So he remembered. Yeah. But rather than give us some manky old Tupperware, he gave her a diamond ring. That's the kind of friend I want. I, I kind of want someone to give me back my Tupperware. <laughs> I'd be quite happy with a diamond ring. I'd be lit. But how long she waited for that diamond ring? About thirty years. Exactly. That's a long time without Tupperware. Meanwhile, all that food's spoiled. <laughs> all that Tupperware has it been through the dishwash? No. You know, when you put it through, you put it in the microwave with beans in it, and it's oh. stains it orange. It's useless and stuff. Oh, but you know what? A, what? A, what a fantastic you know story. Uh, kind of. <laughs> Patty Labelle stole Elton John's. Pop- Where's my Tupperware? <laughs> Where's my Tupperware at? So Patty Labelle's missing all his Tupperware. Yeah. Elton John's gone, that's your Tupperware, that's a diamond ring. Yeah. Right? But he, she had to go and visit him to pick it up. Well, not specifically for the Tupperware. Okay. Just because they were friendly and he said, I'm in town, why do you want to come round? What uh, if she just said, no? No. It's like, no, I just no, want a Tupperware thief. I want a cup of tea, a hobnob, and a bit of a cheeky wank before I, want... I go to sleep. <laughs> I want my nesting box of Tupperware back. Was it a nesting box? I don't know. I'd have stabbed him. Normal Tupperware, you know, that's a bad enough, but a nesting set, oh, no. Oh. Because then your, your big one has But what if they were just, and... the, there were no lids? What if there was just boxes oh. and no lids, My Oh, oh my that's, God. Oh, I, that'd be death. And that is the end of the Tupperware-sponsored Showbiz News. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming soon, we have that science, that is. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and Lee. And now let's see what delectable tidbits Mike has managed to squeeze from the nether regions of the internet in the segment that we call The Buzz. It's warm today. It's warm in the studio. Betty Swallocks. Betty Swallocks? She's visiting. Don't know who Betty Swallocks is. Betty. Betty. Swallocks. Okay, you just said it's slower. Doesn't explain anything. Sweaty bollocks. What about? But what about this Betty woman? I was trying to be polite, Mike, because that's that's traditionally what you call it without saying I've got sweaty bollocks. You say, Oh, oh okay. Betty Swallocks is in oh, town. I Everybody just, knows it, Mike. I just say that my, my... scrotes on fire. <laughs> yeah, well, it don't want to be on fire if it's that wet, is it? No. No. <laughs> Mildly moist testicle. Oh, yeah. lovely. Dripping. Um, but people have been sharing. Um, genius ways of keeping cool in the inclement oh, heat. Let's hear them, Mike. Let's hear them. <laughs> let's, let's hear those ideas. But I want to hear how you keep warm. How keep you keep? How cool. I keep warm? How you keep cool in this warmth? Um, I I have fans, electrical fans. Oh, not people going. I love you. I love no, you. I love no. you. I have electrical fans. I have um, a tiny. So by the bed, mm. I have a little um, um, person. Tower okay. <laughs> that I put water and ice cubes in, uh-huh. and then it blows cold water. Uh, no, um, <laughs> it, it blows cold air. <laughs> Drenches me all night long, and in the morning I feel fine, and I don't have to have a shower. Um, it blows cold air out. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I do. You ever plunge yourself into some warm water outside? Are you referring to my jacuzzi? It's a hot tub. I'm going to say jacuzzi. Jacuzzi is the brand of hot tub. You're going to say tub. jacuzzi. It's not, a, it's not a jacuzzi, though. <laughs> you say for, for, for us, whatever it was you Thesaurus. said. Thesaurus. Thesaurus. I'm going to say jacuzzi. <laughs> Bubbly jacuzzi. <laughs> Bubbly jacuzzi. I do. I have one of those. I hired one uh-huh. for a week, and I'm very much enjoying it. Yeah. Mm. We've seen photos. Um, well, people have shared a, a, an even cheaper way than hiring a hot tub of keeping cool. Have they? Still using your duvet. Ooh. Oh. And that's to put a fan... In front of the open slot of your duvet. Okay. Okay. And have the air blowing into the slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So having a little, closing most of the duvet up, putting the fan in front of the slot and getting in. Do you think that works? I, I, it looks, are you telling me that that doesn't work? It's yeah, because everything on the internet is true. Everything on the internet is true. Um, no, if it works, that's a nice idea. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Because you're still in bed. Yeah. Still under duvet. Yeah. Because so, I can't sleep without a duvet on top of me, even though I'm really hot. Oh. Got to have that. Because of the monsters. 
No, I like the bit of weight on top of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sent you through a loop fast, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, <I'm> just... <laughs> I like the weight of a man on top I, of I me. I prefer the weight of a man, but... But a corpse will do. If well, it's a man corpse, so they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I'm not overly convinced by that one. You're not convinced about that one? That, that me just feels like you're in a sweaty tent. With cool air blowing at you. Yeah, but it does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, another idea <laughs> is to have um, ice cubes, right, or a bo bottle of frozen water behind a fan blowing at you. Oh, yeah, I have heard of that one. Yeah, so, that yeah. Works as well. so, so that's really You could put a, a frozen bottle behind that one, behind that fan, blowing into your duvet. Yeah, or just buy air conditioning. Do you know how expensive air conditioning is? Horrific. It's horrifically expensive. Horrific. It costs a fortune on your electric bill as well. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for the environment, no. But you know, we get like three days of hotness in this country, so it's... A couple of weeks ago we got quite a few days of hotness. I know, but if you can, you know, like... So... I went and bought a paddling pool. I know, I saw. Yeah. yeah. Don't ever post that to me again. Um, you got the one where I was wearing trunks. Be thankful. <laughs> um, I was talking to some friends in Australia yesterday, mm -hmm. and they were laughing. They were guffawing at yeah. me going, we're having a heat wave. And they're like going, yeah, are you? And I'm going, yes. Yes, it's 26 degrees. Yeah, and they're like going, hmm. Yeah. They don't believe it. But I said, well, the difference is, in Australia and hot places, you have air conditioning everywhere you go. And in Australia, it's dry heat as well. Oh, dry which heat. I, I can, I can cut. It's humidity that gets me. Okay. Don't like being sweaty. Don't like being sweaty. No. Mm, okay, are there any more things to, to show us about keeping cool? Putting your underpants in the fridge. See, you posted this on the social media I did. platform. I did, yeah, in the freezer. Yeah, I don't want to get frostbite on my todger. They're not like completely fro frozen. Then you keep them in for a little bit and then also you can put your pillow in there as well. I just swap pillows. I have six pillows on my bed so I can oh. just always get the cool side. I have a rotation. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I just used the word todger for penis there. Todger. Yeah. <laughs> right. Tallywhacker. Um, oh, Tallywhacker, that's a good one. Because the next story I've got from the internet is about a survey that's been done of all the different words men use for their penis. Oh, okay. There's many, isn't there? There are many, many different ones. So there's not a list of penis names, wow. which I thought was brilliant. But then not just found the list, they've also created a map. Oh, of where yeah. people call them in what place. Exactly. Oh. Um, so... so Todger, Tonk. Tonk? Yeah, Tallywhacker. I like that one. One-eyed trouser snake. Mm. Mm. It's not nice, that that one. Angry Fireman was my favourite. Angry Fireman? Angry Fireman, which is actually a South Park reference. Okay. Because um, when you stroke his helmet, he spits in your eye. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I like love truncheon. Love truncheon. <laughs> Meat wand. Meat wand. <laughs> is that on the list? <laughs> These are on the list. Is yeah. it? Keep going, what else have you got? Um, <laughs> you get a point for every one of these you get right. Oh, I don't you? know. I think I... I, think I um, are you spent? I think I am. <laughs> I think, see, when when you're in a romantical situation, uh -huh. there is, there's certain words that you would use for a penis. Mm -hmm. Penis is not one of them. But Yeah, that's very... It's like... Ooh, let your me suck penis. your penis. That's like, nah. Um, <laughs> nah. But then there's other words than the instant reverse boner. Right. Pee pee. Pee pee. Your pee pee feels so good in my poo poo. No. <laughs> That's happened to you. That's <laughs> um, any, like, winkle. Winkle. Oh, wee wee. Tail. No. <laughs> Not four. <laughs> my tail. Oh. My pee pee has rigor mortis. Um, <laughs> that's, a that's a family guy reference. <laughs> Stewie goes, My pee pee seems to have rigor mortis. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, should we move on? I'm still interested, but let's okay, let's go on. <laughs> interested. Well, hold on to that thought. Yeah. Um, as we talk about an Ephron. A Zach. Not a Zach. Oh, did you know he's got a hot brother? No. Oh well, there's been a bit of a, a bit of a, 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 an Instagram chat, shall we say, of brotherly bants. Brotherly bants. Brotherly bants. Okay. Yeah. Um, as Zach Efron's brothers post a thirst trap, and um, Zach has basically just had a go at him. Do you know what a thirst trap is? 
um, like you post a picture of yourself going, oh, it's so fat, and you're not. You're like taking a picture of yourself in the mirror with your rippedness. It's basically going, are you feeling a bit horny? Oh. It's like, because this is going to entice you. <laughs> that, that's how it works. <laughs> okay, right. Many reasons why I'm single, that is one of them. <laughs> um, so, Zach Efron, you know what he looks like? I like do. Yeah, but is it like pre weird face thing or pre, it's pre weird face thing? Don't okay, we? In fact, we found some good photos. Okay, of okay. Um, so we've got some pictures of, of Zac Efron with his his top off. Okay, he's got a bit of a moustache going on there. A bit of facial hair, bandana, bandana. See his left nip. So this is a picture of his brother. Okay, is this he... is actually the first trap picture he sent. He's a little bit Ken dollish, isn't he? A little bit Ken dollish, but that's okay. I can live with that as long as he's not got the smooth area. The smooth area. Yeah. Um, so and then Zac Efron saw that picture, mm. right, and said, "I'm going to post on your Instagram." Oh, right. Look what he posted. So he says, "Stop." They live together. Socks. Oh, not like some sort of like weird fetish, homo it's not, erotic. It's not like it's his incestuous <laughs> thing. Sadness. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, just an excuse to look at. Just an excuse just to an look excuse at another to look at the pictures. Another Efron. Yeah. Exactly. There's two. We got two hands. That's math size. <laughs> to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the Cud TV, and on YouTube we are under Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to go to Story of the Week. Hurrah! Huzzah! Jeff Bezos. Do you know who he is? Is he the dude that's just been? Sent to space. Amazon guy who's just been to space, yeah. Is he still there or has he come back? He's come back. Is he? he has yeah. All back. well. It's all right now. All well. Yeah, all well, yeah. Okay. He just had an ickle trip. An ickle trip? Ickle trip. With his shiz. <laughs> with his shiz into space. Oh. Yeah. Um, you know, Richard Branson's done the same thing recently Yeah, didn't as well. Richard Branson take an LGBTQI flag into he space? Did. He did, yes. Took a little rainbow flag with him with the... With the waving. Yay! Yay! Okay. Um, a little bit of trolley happened for Jeff Bezos. Okay. Because his new Shepard spacecraft, mm -hmm. yeah, um, looked a little bit like a winky. <laughs> it's not sexy when you say that. <laughs> it's not sexy when it's a spaceship, easily. Saying I'm going into space in me winky. <laughs> My giant thrusting cock. That is hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, we've got a picture on screen now of his giant thrusting member. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> so, there he is in his space shuttle uh, New Shepard. On top of his rocket, which is um, by his other company, Blue Origin. Yeah. Did it have? Did it have ball-shaped thrusters? Did have ball-shaped thrusters? Oh. But just use your imagination for those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so people are obviously going. Well, he's off in space now. Getting off in space. <laughs> it's not an actual penis. <laughs> I wonder if they do that. What astronauts? Oh, I would. Would you? Oh, yeah. Because you can say, what are you going to do? Like, oh, I'm floating around in space. One small step for man. One giant One pokey bum wank. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it on my own. It's fine. But that's the end of the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. Um, pokey bum wank. First time I've said that on air. Stay where you are, because after this, it's that science, that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show that learned you things what you didn't know. It's that science that is. That science that is. So this week I have a trio of tests for you to try. Trio. Wow. So what would you like to do first? Bouncy egg, magic water, or the mystical cloud? Ooh, I like the sound of the mystical cloud, Mike. <laughs> okay, you're gonna hate it. Oh. So you should have a plastic bottle with you. I do. Good. What we're going to do is we're going to compress the air in the plastic bottle, mm -hmm. okay, to make a cloud. <gasps> Our very own pet cloud that Our I can love and take pet. home. Well, it won't last that long. Oh. Um, it's a very, very short lifespan of cloud. Okay. So the first thing you've got is, is it's got quite a lot of, of, of air in it at the minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just want to loosen the lid. Okay. And just 
That's it. So you can get a good squeeze on. Keeping the lid on. Just get get a little bit of the air out so you can get a squeeze on. Okay. The lid and then tighten on. the lid up. Up. Then tighten the lid back on. Tighten the lid back on. Okay. Is this is what did it have in this thing? This it's bottle. Just, just air. Oh, just no. And what was it originally had in? I got a uh, whiff of water. Water. Yeah, got a whiff of water. <laughs> Um, and what we want to do is we want to compress the air. So you want to twist it and squish it. Okay. Now, while it's still quite tight, mm. yeah, you want to pull the top off very quickly. Did it. Okay, so inside you should have some cloud. No. No. Okay. So that worked in rehearsal. Should we move on? Do you want to do magic water now? If it's as, ex if it's as exciting as the first one, yeah, let's go <laughs> on. Well, you've got a lovely pink glass. I do, yeah. With some water on. Now, you will need to do this over your science tub. My science tub? My science tub. Is that the official name for it? Okay. The official name for it. Okay. okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this water hold this piece of card. Okay. Okay. So you need to pop the card on top of the glass. Mm-hmm. And then turn it upside down. Okay. And then... Yes, I'm sleek. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. And what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of water to leak around the edges. Oh, I have that, yes. Good, okay. And then you want to let go of the card by dropping your hand down, not to the side. Oh, okay. Okay. You ready to... So, Lee, you go first. Okay. One, two, three. Now... Well, this is going well. <laughs> Are you ready for me to do it? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, go. It's like a really shit version of a kid's party with a magician. It is. <laughs> That's what this uh, segment has always been. <laughs> So what's happening there is that the water and the air are having a vacuum and sort of sucking up the, the card. It's like somebody used to come out with. What, sucking up the card? Sucking. <laughs> See? There we go. Oh, wow. Do you want to try it one more time, Lee? No, because all my water's gone into the thing. Well, pour the water out of the science tub into the, into the glass. Me... <sighs> Me, con me cardboard's sodden. That's okay, it's okay to be sodden. Okay. Right. Cardboard on top of glass. Yes, yeah, so put the damp side on the, on the top. Right. Okay. Give it a bit of a push in. All right, turn it upside down. All right, mm -hmm. and move your hand away from the bottom. Move my hand away from the bottom. Yeah, downwards. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, voodoo. It is. Ooh. Now, now, what you could do is you could also give it a bit of a wiggle backwards and forwards. It does just... It does just drop. Yeah. There you go. Isn't that clever? It is, Mike. So that's the, that's the vacuum here that's it's holding up the piece of card. <laughs> oh, it's you, gone. You just splash. I did, yes. Okay. Let's go over to the bouncy egg then. Okay. Do you have an egg? I have a Kinder Egg, Mike. I asked you to bring an egg. This this is the only egg I deal with. Kinder egg, chocolate, toys, all good. Right. No, you, you don't want to do this next bit with that egg. Oh. If you have a look in the cupboard to your left, there's an egg. Oh, hang on. There's, there seems to be, oh, such a large box. Mm -hmm. For? For an egg. Just one egg. Just one egg, yeah. Just one egg. Well, because after you've had the other eggs, there's one egg left. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your lovely little egg. Okay. Or earth, if you're French. Ooh. Earth. Okay. And then you should have a tub with some vinegar in. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is just normal vinegar. It's not malt vinegar. Okay. Just pickling vinegar. Pickling vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah. That. Ah, pickling vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. And what you're going to do is you pop your egg into your vinegar. Okay. And wait. 
Okay, it's going to hatch or something. No, it's going to do something even better. I'm holding okay. it away then because it'll explode or something knowing okay. you. So you just need to wait for... The death. You, you just need to wait for 24 hours. Oh, now, I'm not okay. going to ask you to do that. I've done this in advance for you. <gasps> so if you don your glove for me onto your dominant hand... <laughs> that's... Yeah. So it's the one you'd wank someone else off with. <laughs> okay, have you got you got hand protection on? As much as these ever give any hand okay. protection. So, um, on your table you have a black cloth hiding <gasps> what has happened to your egg. Would you like to remove your, your cloth and inspect what is in your underneath? Oh, some at rank. It's an egg that's been sat in there for 24 hours in vinegar. Ugh. Would you like to remove your egg? No. Okay, remove your egg, please. Do we put it in the whatever you called it? The... In the science. Just take the egg out. So I have mine here. So I have mine already removed from the vinegary solution. There's like brown stuff. Oh, it's gone horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened is it's um, the vinegar has dissolved the shell. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. And if you, well, you take it, you can remove the vinegar. <laughs> oh, yeah, slight overreaction there. <laughs> it's dissolved the shell. Okay, and um, the point about it is? Because what it's doing is it's removed, it's removed the, the shell, which is the protective bit, and it's left the membrane, which is oh. the thing that holds it together. And if you drop it, it bounces a little bit. Oh, like a bouncy ball. Like a bouncy ball. There you go. Is it? Is this like a toy for a poor child? Yes. Do it from a little bit higher. A bit, no, because you want it to splat, don't you? They're actually quite strong. Yeah. It's a tiny little membrane. I can see the yolk inside you it. You can see the yolk inside it. Ooh. Yeah? Because... <laughs> Is it cooked now? It's not cooked. No, it's still raw. Oh, goodness me. Don't put that in your mouth. You don't want to put that in your mouth? No. Okay. Um, and it's also porous, so it'll absorb anything you put it next to. So you could actually dye the, the egg itself in cold solution. When you say it could absorb anything you put it next to... Yeah. Like a human? Yes, like a human -ly. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. Right, so so we've got the, the bouncy egg. Mm-hmm. Right, that's quite, quite bouncy. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's broken, Oh, Mike. no, it's broken. So, yes. It's black. And it's still, and it's still, eggy, eggy goodness. Uh. Mm. There you go. So all three a triumph, because that's science, that is. That's science, that is. That's almost the end of the show. I know, sad face, squish, squish. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. I think you should drink this. I shouldn't. <laughs>